right, Shamir. So you crossed the line. I saw a smile come on, come on your face. I mean, 50.1. I mean, how'd that kind of feel? That felt easy. That felt good. I was nervous. You know, I've kind of had a slow start to my season. So we kind of just went back to the drawing board and we just been ducked off training. And to come out and, you know, have fun in the rounds and finish, I'm like, okay, 50.1. Like, that's confidence, especially going into the hurdles. I mean, talk about your season, because on the surface, yeah, it doesn't look like you've had the best season, but clearly you're in shape and you're in form. I'm in shape. It's mental. Sometimes it's just <laughs> those seasons or those years where you, like, you know the sacrifice it takes and you like, ugh, do I want to do that? Like, why I got to keep doing that? And you notice that back and forth battle in your head and then your back against the wall. It's like, oh, no, I do want to do this. Like, I don't want to not do this. Like, I'm joking, y'all. And, um, yeah, it's kind of been one of those years, just like... Huh, PTSD, it's just a lot of stuff. Nothing to go into, but like also kind of gaining perspective and gratitude and just like, it's another year. I get to put all of that behind me and I get to look forward to what's up next and applying everything that I've learned and how much I've grown. And how are you approaching trials? Like you said, you're entered in both the 400 and the 400 hurdles. What's like the ultimate goal for you? Make the team in the 400 hurdles. That's my bread and butter. I just, I felt like I was gonna be bored. I was gonna be going crazy in the hotel. like. Everybody goes in the 100 in my training group, they, the first four days, and then it's me. And I was just like, can I do the 400? Can I do something? And he's actually like trained me through the week. I'm thinking, you know, I get, get a little off time, you know, to get springy for the 400. And it's like, no, this is part of your training too. So, you know, that's how we've been approaching it. Just kind of executing and having fun and like, get on this damn team. Or just get on this damn thing, yes. And, and so, if you make the 400 team, you're not planning to do it. You're only planning. Oh, I'm not doing no more of this 400. I'm only doing one oh, round. Only one round. Okay, okay, okay. I'm scratching. That's why I just wanted to do one round and like see what I got in my legs and then rest and then get to the three rounds. So, yeah, no, there's no special agenda behind the 400 except for I just want to do it. Well, with this time, would you want to run the 4x4 relay at the Olympics if you make it in the hurdles? Yeah, we'll see how I feel about that. <laughs> <laughs> I, but I want it to be on my accord and I make the decision whether I want to or whether I, I don't want to. Um, you know, I haven't had the best luck with 4x4, so we'll see. We focus on the 400 hurdles right now. <laughs> um, talk to me about the effort today. Obviously, pretty fast time, but you mentioned that you're not planning on running any more 400, open 400s uh -huh. this weekend. Um, how hard were you pressing out there? I didn't feel like I was pressing at all. Of course, obviously, I didn't want to go out here and blow a training day, just kind of doing something I could have did in training. So, obviously, I wanted to hit a good mark. Because I was thinking, I'm like, dang, do I just like, of course you race. You get in the blocks. We here, we had a little trial. So, I just ran and I raced and I applied everything that I've been working on from start to finish. And you mentioned a little bit of the pre-race jitters, but also jitters for the entire week. Mm -hmm. um, how important was it for you just to literally spread the legs and just like get out there and just let it, let it rip a little bit? That was very important because, you know, most people, all of us, we kind of come into an Olympic trials like first round is our first round. You know, I'm blessed to be so versatile. Not many people can do different events and dip their hand in it. And also not many people want to, I guess, especially at Olympic trials. You're always kind of like saving yourself. But um, I forgot what you asked me, but I, yeah, it was important. It was just like... I just did not want to be in a hotel board. So <laughs> I just came out and do it. And then now what confidence does this give you for the 400 hurdles? Uh -huh. Like, do you feel like, okay, I'm about to drop something really good or like- I'm Yes, because when you just go into a race and you execute everything that you've been working on, it's like, okay, it's there. The talent is there, the effort is there, the hard work, the environment, everything is coming together at the right time. And then just seeing, I think you were here at NCAAs. Did you come up to watch? Yeah, to so watch my cutie for two Yeah, I mean, what was that like? It was, that was also like, I did not want to come up here, but Coach Johnson was like, yeah, it's a nice little training break. I'm like, all right, man, it's a nice little training break. We get to get out. Um, but it was nice seeing my training partners, seeing what they can do. We all are capable of so much and kind of seeing the end. The youngins, it's like, all right, y'all, when y'all done, let's go back home so we can train. Because I want to go 48 and I want to go 49, just like y'all. And it's so funny because when I went 49 last year, they're like, how do you go 49? I'm like, the tables. Sorry, baby, teach me how to go 49 low. So um, it was fun coming out here and watching them. I'm always a big support of Arkansas. I've been kind of like, they're like my little babies. Like, they coach Johnson's girls, but they like my little babies. 
थैंक यू